Amazon is citing advances in artificial intelligence as part of its decision to eliminate thousands of jobs. Things are changing so fast. The company is cutting 14,000 corporate roles, in fact, saying it needs to stay nimble as artificial intelligence changes and transforms its business. In an email sent out to employees, the company's top HR executive calls AI the most impactful technology since the internet. And the message says AI is allowing the company to have fewer layers and move faster for customers. Amazon's cuts are the latest in a string of tech layoffs following similar moves at Meta, Target and Microsoft. And joining us now for some perspective on the future of jobs in AI, in the AI is uh, Kwame Robinson, a Wayne State Assistant Professor of Technology Information Systems and Analytics. Professor, thanks so much for joining us tonight. This seems to be a sign of things to come for more companies in the future. Oh, yes, for sure. You know, I think I think a lot of companies will be looking at um, the quarterly performance of Amazon. So, for example, the stock could go up, but their product, uh, how people are comfortable with their products could go down. So there's definitely um, a lot of wait and see and concern. Yeah. yeah. Well, the company says it would be hiring in other key areas. When you hear that phrasing, can you tell us what maybe those key areas are? Or what kind of goes through your mind when you hear that? Sure. So oftentimes when automation comes to the scene, the first thing that happens is you need people to manage the automation. So think AI manager. The second thing that tends to happen is automation changes how the product or whatever they're making is produced. So you're going to see maybe an increase in people with managed product or manage, manage like customer relationships. So those are definitely top two changes that you might see going forward. Yeah, Professor, are there any jobs that you'd consider AI proof for the future? And what specific skills can workers and students start to master to avoid being replaced by AI in the near future? That's a great qu uh, question. You know, any kind of job that involves trust or long-term human connection, you know, you just can't replace that with a robot. So you're looking at things like senior care, nursing, hospitality, Things like that, we have that long-term human connection and trust. Yeah, that's a pretty uh, wide field. Oh. Just in closing, Professor, do you have any um, any just closing thoughts for our viewers in terms of maybe you know someone is afraid that AI is going to take their job? What should people be doing right now? Yeah, I think one of the most powerful things people can do is to use ChatGDP, use AI technologies to make a journal or a diary of what works and what doesn't work. So they're able to develop their own personal relationship with AI so that then they can look into the future and how they can apply it to the job going forward. Uh, by getting experience now, it can help you out later. Yeah. Um, and finally, you might want to talk about um, where you want AI to work and not work within your own industry and talk to your ele elected representatives, talk to your city council. Really, you know, have this conversation about where AI, where AI should be and should not be. Okay, Professor Kwame Robinson, thank you so much for being with us today.